Good morning. That's good morning, German. I've been having a very good translation. Good, good morning. I'm here in Frankfurt. It's a Gymshark pop up today, and we are almost two weeks into the summer sizzle. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not seeing results as fast as I would want to. The problem with that is, is I haven't been counting my macros. I figured I can just kind of skate through this, watch what I eat, but no. With traveling and everything else, I realized I'm not eating quite the way I should. I'm not committing to the program like I should. So today, we're gonna count some macros to the best of our ability. Now I have some meals prepped, which are gonna help out. But first, I'm gonna go downstairs at the hotel and show you guys exactly what I'm gonna have for breakfast. Now this breakfast, because it's at the hotel, I'm not gonna be able to weigh things out, so I'm gonna have to kind of eyeball things, but I think that there are some things down there that um, kind of have, you know, more or less, you can figure out the macros very easy. So, let's go downstairs. I'm gonna also show you guys what I take for supplements in the morning. First, when you're at the hotel and you come to breakfast, go straight to the eggs because that's that's where things can go a little bit wrong. Because you get hungry, your eggs aren't ready, you're waiting, you start eating on everything else. So straight up to the counter and get some eggs. How are you? Can I do four egg whites? Thank you so much. Oh, and of course, they put the pancakes right in front of the egg whites. And I'll just go uh, tomatoes, peppers, and that's good. Fruit is a good way to go if you're tracking your macros. If you're tracking your macros at a hotel, it's easy to do a little clementine because they track easy in my fitness pal. So to my egg white, I'm going to also add two hard boiled eggs, just two. I'm gonna add one piece of bacon, which is really like a half piece of bacon. Next up is the hard part, the oats. Since I don't know exactly, I don't have my food scale, so I can't say exactly how many oats this is, I'm gonna eyeball. And that's where years and years of doing this comes into handy as I spill everywhere. Wow, you would think I'd be able to do this. Oh my gosh. I give up. I'm saying that right there is about 40 grams. 40 grams of oatmeal. That is another three. To four grams. I'm also getting one slice of toast and maybe what is the slowest toaster of all time. It's literally been in there for like five minutes and you can't pop it up like you can in the States. Why? Oh, it's not even done. Girl, that's what I'm working with so far. No cheese. Got some honey to go in my oatmeal. You're gonna need some fruit to go in the oatmeal as well. My favorite part. Almost, if I close my eyes hard enough, I can imagine avocado being on here with a poached egg and the fact that I'd be in Australia. That's what I close my eyes and imagine. Australia poached eggs with avocado. Whoever said uh, men couldn't multitask. <laughs> oh. Signing cards for VIP. I don't know, VIP what? Winners? Yes, winners. It's so nice of Gymshark. Look how nice that card is, by the way. Hey, Tim. Thanks for being an incredible part of the Gymshark family. We're so happy that yeah. you are a part of Le Frankfurt. There we go. Hey, Tatiana. Bust down Tatiana. I like that one. How do you say that name? It's Hash. Ritesh. Hey Patrick, thanks for being a sick beep. Thank Back much, to man. the egg white omelet on toast with my bacon. Wow, catch that, yeah. All right guys, I am out and about trying to find some good coffee because the hotel coffee is weak. They didn't have any almond milk, coconut milk, or even oat milk. So I'm headed out to find a cafe. I heard there's a good like Turkish coffee place. This though, the reason I'm showing you this street if you guys can see down there, this is the red light district. So our hotel is literally right there. This is the red light district, which means prostitution is legal. It's the second largest red light district in Germany. Really surprised to find that Germany has a red light district. On the way back from the gym last night, walked through that area just to see what it was about. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, my heart was just a breaking for those people. I'm trying to sound like I'm from Minnesota. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, those poor sweet girls just out there. Now I'm sounding like I'm from Ireland. Um, <laughs> I just felt weird and bad and I don't know. What are your guys' thoughts on red light districts? I mean, on one hand, I guess places in Nevada, which is kind of close to where I live, have um, like brothels and stuff. It's a way, I guess, to regulate them and to tax them rather than just having like people on the street. I don't know, I thought about going and making some quick bucks. I should probably just stop now. Let's go get some coffee. A little bit confused. I've been walking around, seeing a couple cafes, 
all of them are closed. It's 8.22 in the morning on a Saturday. Is this normal in Germany? Because this is definitely not normal in the States. A little coffee shop would be open at like 6 a.m. I think McDonald's is open this early? That's the true test. Let's go find out. I think McDonald's is open. Yes, but guess what? I don't want McDonald's. I don't want McDonald's. I don't. Oh, look. McDonald's is right next to... <laughs> Interesting. Okay. I like it. Germany here. Very uh, open with their sexuality. Ooh, I think there's a place over there. Good guys. That looks open. I think I found a coffee place. She was smoking weed. She was smoking weed for sure. All these things I'm finding out about Germany. This looks open. Hi! You're such a cutie. I have a French bulldog at home. Oh, you do? These are definitely not part of my macro plan. Thank you. How do you say thank you in German? A danke. And then a Wiedersehen. That's it. Oh, and there we go. Feeling pretty grateful that we have good weather here. I'm not gonna lie, I've only been to Germany when it's been a really crappy weather, so my experience in Germany hasn't been the best. But I mean, what more could you ask for? Beautiful morning, nice street coffee, an erotic adult store, still open at 8 a.m. Hashtag winning, hashtag dildo life is the life for me. That's a weird hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I think I'm funny? I don't know, but it's a good way to start the day. Ah, I'm gonna go head over to the Gymshark event. I'm gonna pack one of my meals. Uh, I'm gonna try to work out a little bit later, and I need a freaking haircut. What is going on? But hopefully we can find a barber before this event today. If you guys are like me, you always wait till the last minute to do things. It's a problem, but I've been doing it my whole life, and I've made it this far. All right, in the hotel, they have this little station by the front desk, kind of like we have in the US in some hotels. Microwave. I have my second meal of the day. It is 12.24 in the afternoon. The meal I have is from Prep My Meals. It is rice, beef, broccoli, and some hot sauce. Last time I heated up one of these, I left this thing in there and it melted. I know I probably shouldn't have eaten plastic, but I did. I was starving. Lay off me. Uh, macros in this. Do they have the English macros? No. So if anyone speaks German on this video, let me know. Taking this out this time, removing the plastic from the lid. I should probably just put this whole thing on a plate. All right, here we go. Uh, stop. And there we go, let's let it cook. I really am not a huge fan of microwaving my food, but desperate times call for desperate measures. And that doesn't look too bad. And as I sit here and eat my orange and meal, hey, will you read the macros on that German thing underneath my plate? 21.4 grams. 21.4 grams of fat? Yeah. That's quite a bit. Kohlenhydrate. Yeah. Carbohydrates? Yes, he knows. 78.8 grams. Okay, I like it. And what was your protein? Protein. Protein 42. 46. 46. Dankenschein. Dankeschön. Thank you, sir. <laughs> so I really got about 85, 84 grams of carbs, including that clementine. Every now and then you get one of these cuties that tastes like ash. Mandarin? Is it sour? No, it's a little soggy, so it's a little overripe. You can have it if you want. I mean, there's another one right over there, and it has now touched the meat. Speak on the Dutch. That's that's Dutch, Deutsch. not German. Deutsch. Deutsch. We're in Deutschland, aren't we? Deutsch. That's weird. I got my green apple. Deutschland. It's not German. It's it's German to Germany. It is. Yeah. Deutschland is. It doesn't German. sound like German. And then the language is Deutsch. Because it's because it's Latin based. Usually it sounds pretty similar to English. Like there's some things. A lot of English words do, but you go English, German and Deutsch sound nothing alike. Here's our English translator for the day. English to German. Here's, I'll have to transfer Alec Baker because he's Aussie. Nobody understands anything he says. Good eye, mate. <laughs> On our way to the pop-up now. You can see we got a, we got a decent sized bus here. And I just kind of like to sit in the back, pretend I'm Le LeBron James, game seven, put in my headphones, and then ultimately lose because LeBron James is not Michael Jordan. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. I'm a Michael fan. Do that music for the pop-up store. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
always fun walking into the venue for the first time. Interesting to see, you know, how each country is set up. How are you guys? I'm fine. How about you? What's your name? David. David, I'm Steve. Hi, hey, Tim. Tim? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. I love your videos. Thank you, man. I appreciate You're it. So... We're making one right here. Oh, thanks. <laughs> You're on it. What's Where up? are you guys from? Um, Germany, Würzburg. You get a fresh fade today? Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, looks good. <laughs> yeah, only for you. Nah, <laughs> just kidding. All right, here's the problem. I'm trying to count your macros, and Jim Shark's got all sorts of garbage. These two aren't eating any of that. None of that right there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's getting their meals? I'm just making sure everyone's following their macros today. Everyone's following their macros, yes? 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 yes. No? 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 No. No, okay. Yeah, no, all right. Baker, how about you, bud? We got yeah. the summer sizzle going on. You following your macros? Straight gum, chewy. Only three cups of spinach now. One, okay. one green get. apple and fresh egg. That fruit you. is like five a day. You. Look at this venue down here. This venue's pretty sweet. Look at that venue. We're just kind of sneak peeking. Whoa, all the way over there. It's a sweet building. We have Mr. Burgess in the house. I'm here indeed. Taking care of all of our monster needs. Don't mind if I do. I was trying to open that the wrong way. You are. It's nice always better out. to just call yourself out on YouTube before YouTube calls you out. That's my that's my motto, huh, Baker? Got some chocolate covered rice cakes. We got chocolate yogurt. What are those? What are these Oreos. German looking? Little like cereal. Banana ones. and banana flavor. Those Oreos. Hey, oh. Baker, do you know those are Oreos? Anytime we see Oreos, Baker tells me they're vegan. <laughs> yes, I know. They are. Uh -huh. Oh, you too, huh? Too. Both these. I'm in a vegan sandwich. I'm in a vegan Oreo right now. Oh my gosh, I'm the white stuffing. You're the filling to our sandwich. Things just got weird. Just plugging away here. They're waiting on me while I talk to you guys. Um, getting a protein coffee. I don't even know what brand this is. It's some German brand. But it has 25 grams of protein in this, 75 milligrams of caffeine, which is exactly what I need, and it's fat free. So just a little afternoon pick me up to make sure I can get through this line. It's about 3.30, and I'm definitely hitting the wall because it's now like 6 a.m., so I've been up pretty much all night in the U.S., so this is much needed right now. He's pissed. Look, he's pissed. He's pissed because he went to go find my bag and it's over here. Hey, hey, don't worry, I found it. Cheers. It was over there. Yes. Sam found it. Employee of the month right here. Good job, Sam. <laughs> so, um, like I said, I don't know what brand this is, and it's not my cup of tea. I'm not a big fan. We take that away. Take that away, please. Thank you. I don't want that out of here. I don't even want to look at it. We'll just stick to this. I'll get my protein somewhere else. White, no, White Monster has never done me wrong. All right, so since that protein coffee that I threw away, I probably had two drinks of that, so I'm not going to even count it because it was garbage. I'm going to go back and throw it up. No, I'm not. I could never do that. I even tried one time and I couldn't. Anyhow, TMI, long day. I'm having three of these chocolate rice cakes. I don't know the macros in these. Hey, gains by brains. What are the macros in these, you know? Uh, they don't count. She says they don't count, so. All I know, the long ass day. The jet lag was real. And I'm pretty sure I have a shitload of macros left, so let's go out to eat. American tenderloin. All right, third meal. I guess I had four rice cakes, so that was a snack. This is really the third meal of the day. It is a 250 gram filet mignon with a potato. I also had a salad with Italian dressing, which I'll probably just add like kind of vaguely into my fitness pal. But this, that's gonna be the problem. I'm probably gonna scrape some of that off through this. <laughs> Just go from there. Sauces, that is where you're gonna get a lot of your calories that just aren't needed. That would taste just fine with some salt, pepper, and a little bit. Um, you gotta get used to just not smothering the food in the sauce. So, 
add the salt and pepper, skip the bread, and then enjoy that steak. Well, I was hungrier than I thought. Ate the entire steak, the entire potato. I did leave half of the sauce, but I ate three-fourths of the bread that had the garlic. It was the garlic. One bite of the garlic butter and I was sold, so gonna try to figure out these macros. Back right. Clear the streets out. Jerome Fandle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 